<laughs> Let's talk. <coughs> Let's talk. Taiwan trip. Basically over. But man, it was a good one. A good one. Hello everyone, we're in Taiwan. Today is actually the second day because we arrived yesterday in the afternoon and Brian vlogged. If you want to see the first day, go to Brian's channel. I'll put the link below and enjoy our first day. For today, stay tuned because I'll show you the highlights of our vacation. Day one, we woke up kinda early. We had a very normal coffee at our hotel and we headed out to meet John and Viola. So convenient. There's literally the train right outside. We're going to meet up with one of my students. He's from Taipei and he'll show us around for the morning. And we were a little early, but I don't want to be late. I was tired yesterday. Now I'm feeling charged. I'm ready to find out a fun day and tie whistle. We love having a normal size bed. As most people freaking do. For the past two months, we've been sleeping in a single bed. Don't get me started. <laughs> Brian, what's going on? Guys, I have proposed getting some breakfast like nine times and every time Tony's like, um, hey, I don't think we should do it. Because we're gonna eat soon. It's 11, we haven't eaten anything. We're gonna Lunch eat at like noon. So what do you want to have? I mean, come on, two of these before we go get seafood. How bad could it be? Why did you want to have breakfast? Like, Because I was hungry. I saw some Krispy Kremes and I got two small little Krispy Kremes. She had two big bites of no, peanut butter donuts, so she's not innocent. Bites. And then we met with John and his wife, Viola. We went to this typical Taiwanese restaurant, and I feel like not a lot of tourists go there. They just told us we were gonna get seafood porridge, which just by the name scared me a little bit. It doesn't it sound boring. that good, but then the dish arrived. The place we went to is very local, I would say. There were no tourists there. And probably I wouldn't have gone there by myself because it would have been intimidating, I think. We had this Taiwanese seafood porridge that was amazing and the mushroom one that was even better. It was delicious, like one of the best things I had in Taiwan. And it was very hot, so be careful. I'm glad I didn't have a big breakfast because I was hungry and I could enjoy all the food. It was delicious. And also we ate this thing, it's typical Taiwanese, it's called like, like a thousand year old egg. The looks is scary, like apparently originally they used to make this egg by putting it in horses pee. Now they don't do that anymore, right? <laughs> it was delicious. I loved it all. So then John was super thirsty, so we went to go John get royal good. milk bubble tea. As you can tell, placing your order in Taiwan is not the easiest if you don't read Chinese characters, but luckily we had Viola and John who helped us out. This bubble tea milk is like the most famous in Taiwan and it was really good, especially the milk tea part with the foam. Isn't that weird? The bubbles were smaller than usual. I prefer the big ones, but really good. We got some snacks. Thanks to these guys. So we talked, we enjoyed it, and we exited. And when we exited, we saw this parking garage full of scooters. I don't know if you know Rome, how many scooters we have. In Taiwan, they have like triple. It's crazy. crazy. I've never seen it. Crazy. Except for in movies. And then we got in John's car and we decided to drive to get a foot massage. John had a car and he decided to drive. That was really nice because we could rest after a not so hard day actually, but full of food. We're about to get a massage. Am I the only one who feels slightly uncomfortable? 
uncomfortable. It will be a foot massage. Me too. And I mean, my feet are okay, and they're clean, and there's nothing wrong with them, but I don't know, I feel slightly uncomfortable. Sonia's gonna walk out of this and be like, guys, that felt so good. Yeah, I think so. This was the place. When we arrived, they gave me some pants to wear because I was wearing a skirt, and we started with this hot water. You enjoying it? It took a while for me and for Brian as well to feel relaxed but after a while, mainly because of that hot towel that you see behind my neck, I started to feel sleepy. Okay, it was painful. It was painful. Painful. And it's not only a foot massage, it's a leg massage. Calves? All the way up to here basically. Also, apparently I didn't know this thing but I asked what the guy's name was and you're not supposed to do it. So after like an awkward moment of like, uh, we have no names. We have numbers. What's your number? Nine. So I started calling him number nine. Like, good job number Sonia nine. Sonia was like, number nine, I want to take you home. No, that's not true. Oh my god. Oh, you have to see this. You can't really see but Sonia has a big bruise right there from Massage. Yeah, I have a bruise. After that, John and Viola just took us to our hotel. Thank you, John and Viola. Yeah. Great people. So then, Sony and I had some quick rest, and then it was time to go back out, and this time, we went to Taipei 101. Yeah, like the symbol of Taipei. It's the 11th tallest building in the world. We entered, and it was a magnificent open atrium with shops so only high-end shops. We saw that on the way to the ticket office of the observatory on the 89th Actually, floor. Actually, we wanted to go to Starbucks because they told us that there is a Starbucks on the 35th floor, but you need a reservation. But then it was like, okay, then we should go to the observatory and 89. I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> so we got our tickets. We zoomed up like this to the 89th yeah, floor. Yeah, the elevator was crazy fast. The elevator might crash down. Oh, stop. The view was so nice, so high up. I love being in tall buildings like that. I love top floor views. See that thing he's doing? I can't do that. And here we have a shot of Sonia being more interested in fruit than the observatory deck itself. Makes me forget we're up in the sky. Thanks for coming up here for me. You're welcome. <laughs> This is something I sometimes do. This thing here pretty much presses your coin into a little souvenir that you can keep. And I have many. We're leaving. I'm glad we did it because I did it. But my head is spinning. I'm just ready to go. That was awesome. Yeah. We finished there. We went to this other night market where we had this like Taiwanese pancake. It's like a burrito pancake burrito. savory mix. Yeah. That was good. That was actually one of yeah. the best things. And then we had oh my god. Ice cream. Taiwanese, Taiwanese style ice cream. ice cream. You don't understand. Okay, let's talk about it. It was shaved ice, milk tea flavor with tapioca pearls and taro balls. As you can tell by my reaction, very good. No, you have to try Taiwanese ice cream. Oh, it was good, but I don't like the taro. That was the best part! No, no, if you like the chewy texture, you have to try the taro and sweet potato balls. But after that, we just went back to the hotel because now we talk about day two. Today. Today. When we woke up pretty at early. 7.50. I woke up at 7.50 and I was tired but excited. And we went to meet our friends. Alvi, Albus, Zoe, Tina. Tina. Today it was Moon Festival, so it's like a holiday in Taiwan. And we decided to go to Jiufen, Jiufen City. Jiufen. Yeah. It's a place that inspired Miyazaki, the anime artist, to create Sento Chihiro. Wait, Spirited in English, Away. Spirited Away, yeah. yeah. Greatest anime. It was like a long bus ride, an hour. Hour long bus ride. It basically brought us like to near the top of a mountain yeah. overlooking the ocean. 
we started a walk through little alleys. A lot of souvenirs, a lot of food. A lot of local food, souvenirs. I'm not gonna lie, it was a little too crowded for my comfort. But I liked it. I don't mind crowded spaces. Yes, I've tried it. <laughs> for lunch, we went to that specific tea house, the lantern house that inspired the anime. We had a traditional Taiwanese lunch with typical foods and the best part is that knowing that I didn't eat meat, they had some special vegetarian dishes for me since it was a set menu. Very good and very filling. That's nice. This is what it looks like. <laughs> we ate inside but I saw a lot of people having a tea on the terrace and the view was amazing. Look at that. Now, the lunch was over. But we decided to, to go and have the famous taro and potato something. I don't even know how to call that. And as you remember, I don't really like it, so I passed. But he passed Sonia and I it. ate it all. It was this big and it was delicious. <laughs> The dessert is pretty much like a sweet soup with sweet beans and taro and sweet potato balls. I personally love the chewy texture, but I understand that it's not for everybody. So chewy. Mm. Then we took a taxi and then a train and we went to this other little town, Pingxi. It's famous because it's the one that where there's like a narrow street and the tracks in the middle And sometimes the train passes The train passes and also people light up lanterns that fly in the sky So we took a walk and then we decided to light our own lantern Sonia, are you scared? No Oh my god yeah. It's shaking Do you think this is safe? No <laughs> For the lantern, each color has a different meaning and we decided to cheat and we got the money, romance, lucky and happiness one. Yes. Before lighting it up, you have to write all your wishes on the lantern. It's like a group activity and it's really fun. I loved it. Self-employed. <laughs> This is my lantern. <laughs> I hope my dreams come true. Basketball, guys. Like, basketball. You know, it was a pretty decent lantern until Brian had one last creative moment. He made the ugliest drawing ever. Smiley face. That was not a smiley face. That was this creepy looking face. But then we lit the lantern. Yes. It went up into the sky. Oh, up into the sky and while we were walking, <laughs> we're walking to the, to the train, train station, we saw it fall down. And I was like, that's ours. And Sonia thinks it's because the gods, the spirits, saw it and they said, I gotcha. And they sent it right back down. The smiley face was just too ugly. And then we came back to Taipei City. And then of course when we got back we were hungry. I wasn't I wasn't hungry, but they were like, you should eat. Was. And we decided to go to Second Floor Cafe where I got a cheeseburger and fries, American style. I'm sorry if I won. And Sonia I got I actually ordered eggs, omelette. I was like, you know, I'm trying to be healthy because I've been eating a lot of things. I'm trying to be healthy. Toast and eggs. This is what I got. French toast. I don't think it was healthy, but I finished it. Because that's me. When you give me food, I cannot not finish it. That's, I can vouch for that. Come on, I'm getting married in a month here. What I realized about Taiwan is that it's a place full of food. No, if you're a bride and you bought your dress, don't go to Taiwan. What else? What else did you learn about Taiwan? It's super cheap, way cheaper than Tokyo. Yeah, it's cheaper than Tokyo, totally. People and are so nice, so friendly. The people are really friendly. I guess in Japan, the people are really polite. And once you get to know them, they're so nice. But in Taiwan, it's easier to get to the stage of like, we're friends. It happens faster. 
like you. He's like, oh, I like you. Yeah, you're my best friend. Ooh. Definitely I'm glad that we came here. It's t definitely less crowded than Tokyo. So today we're dead. Tomorrow we'll just go and have a typical Taiwanese breakfast, and then we'll just go back to Tokyo. The day after tomorrow, I work nine hours. And I will also eat diet day one. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys very much. I think we'll go to sleep now. I'll see you soon. See you guys. It's got a lot. Ah, it's got a lot. Ciao. And Brian keeps saying, Arigatou gozaimasu instead of xie xie.